Personalized medicine or precision medicine uh, is really taking a look at that 3.2 billion letters or code which describes us. Really whether you're going to develop a disease, how you're going to respond to a treatment. Uh, so really it's the encyclopedia of our health. And so getting to understand what that 3.2 billion letters actually means and how we can interpret it is uh, really the future of healthcare. It's going to be important for just about every disease or disorder to actually have all of that data sitting in one place. We've had a wonderful experience with uh, Tempus. We've been sending them uh, some of our patient samples now and they have a great turnaround time and a fantastic interpretation of what could be underlying uh, the certain cancers. We've morphed that into you know, getting a greater understanding of how that portal gets that information to the physicians. Physicians really need to have the information in a way that they can make it actionable as soon as possible. And then finally, we have a research collaboration in terms of the fact that obviously we don't know everything about the genome and we don't know everything about cancer. So uh, we're working with a particular subset of our HER2 breast cancer patients right now to get a greater understanding of how we can target therapies for them. I think we've, we've, we've reorganized as a function of that. The approach that Tempus have really is potentially disruptive in terms of the workflow because it's expediting the routine diagnosis of cancer care and also getting you know, to treatment options much more quickly. So I think it's optimized um, really some of the workflows to delivering uh, patient care. It's a win-win for the patient because we can get to treatments more quickly, uh, we can get to cures more quickly, and we can actually reduce the cost for everybody if we do that. With what's being built here, I mean, it's, it's going to be a tremendous opportunity to do some real good.